And they are off. The next batch of OneWeb satellites have started their journey on board Soyuz flight number ST-29, blazing a trail across the Siberian skies. We are looking there at the boosters, four of them burning, and they use a lot of firepower to get us away from the gravity of our planet. They're doing all the work right now. They burn for just under two minutes, and if we're lucky, we might even see them separating with the naked eye, because what we're looking at here is a nice, clean, sky, clear sky, Maurizio. Yeah, we're very lucky. Very lucky tonight, and uh, we're back. Absolutely, Maurizio. We've lifted off. It's a long way to go, but you're back in action. Back in action, absolutely. Our next 36 uh, satellites, our batch three, is um, on the way. And uh, let's look what's going to happen over the next uh, four hours. It's, uh, it's a bit of a long way to go, but uh, looking forward to it. And I think we are just seeing now the jettisoning of the boosters. Are we? We should see four dots. 130 seconds. Separating. We can see there it's going higher and higher into the sky, heading deeper and deeper into space. The next event is the separation of the fairing. Let's go back to you, Vincent. Have you got any news for us from your end? Yes, so... Yes, we have the confirmation of the, of the separation of the booster, yes. So it is a, it is a good news. So we are, we are getting the information from uh, from the team, in the CVI. So the TV in, in French, so it means we control uh, Israeli media. So this operation team is tracking the launch vehicle and receive the, the telemetry data from uh, from it, so they can consequently uh, confirm major events uh, when uh, when they have occurred. Yes. <laughs> 